From wet to windy, I'm your all with just show more to you. Let's start with the wet first. We have a flood advisory in effect for everywhere shaded in green through 815. We have seen flooded roadways already this evening. We'll continue to do so deeper into the evening. Now, I said that we would see between a half inch to an inch of rainfall, and for a large part of the shore, as well as all of K May County and all of Southern Ocean, we were right, but as we got into Cumberland County, we saw extremely heavy rain for a period of time, all topped off by 2.41 inches of rain over in Vineland. Now we have a wind advisory in effect all the way through Thursday evening. And that's for all of New Jersey, pretty much running from the I-95 corridor between Boston to DC and even into Northern New England as well. Winds will be whipping. And this is the reason why we're looking at our air pressures from tonight through Friday night and where you see the blues are areas of low pressure. Look at, we have two areas and they meet into one and rapidly intensify. You heard me talking over the past couple of days about something called bombogenesis, which is a scientific term for when you see a 24 millibar or greater pressure drop within 24 hours. That's exactly what we're seeing. And even if we fall just shy of that, the intense pressure gradient from that storm is causing strong winds. We're going to eight o'clock tonight. It's a southwest wind turning to the northwest at 8 o'clock gusts in the 30s for the most part 40s at the shore showing 53 and barning it light there will be a couple of areas that gust that high just offshore like in mystic islands where we saw 59 mile an hour gusts we go into thursday morning wind gusts will be around 40 miles an hour and then as we go into the day staying around that i think the shore will be a little bit higher than this so that means gusts 40 to 45 but the mainland between 35 to 40 miles an hour and this is when you start to see down power lines or down trees. We already saw two down trees in Cape May Courthouse and Summers Point, both on Route 9 going northbound. And we will continue to see more of that as we go into the night tonight into Thursday. By the time we get to Friday, it's a breezy day, but not a windy day here in South Jersey. Rain ends by eight. We see a little bit of clearing around nine o'clock and the clouds roll back in. Clouds will actually decrease a little bit as we go deeper into the overnight. But the main story is the winds that will be strong and you'll hear it howling overnight. Maybe some of you will have a tough time sleeping, unfortunately. And it might be another night of it too as we go into Thursday and into Thursday night. We'll start off with Thursday during the day, some early sunshine, but clouds for a large portion of the day. We should call it mostly cloudy. Temperatures below average, sitting around 60. Winds help to keep temperatures cooler during the day and then actually milder at night, gusting to 45 miles an hour. This will likely be our windiest day since we saw that brush by with Hurricane Dorian back at the beginning of September. Could even be back later or excuse me earlier than that as well we'll have to see where the final numbers stack up out on the water uh not the best place to be you want to be on land we have a gale warning in effect waves are high too and here are your high and low tide times for the atlantic ocean waters we go into our mainland seven day we have that breezy day on friday but not a windy one and we'll have a mostly sunny sky and plenty of sunshine for saturday we'll continue sunshine into sunday as well it's a good weekend to be out and about we have the chatsworth cranberry festival looking good for that next shot of rain will be monday we'll go into the shore seven day tuesday warming up Pretty much around seasonable for Wednesday. We'll say Wednesday is likely dry from a storm system nearby. As we go into Friday, we will be doing our on the road cooling off October coming just in time with the forecast. We will be in Chatsworth at Pine Island Cranberry talking all about frost and cranberry bogging. That will be at 2.30 p.m. For the latest in South Jersey weather, we'll be talking about the winds, the rains, and more on social media, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMartWX, Twitter at AC Press Martucci, or thepressfac.com slash weather.